Hello, Spencer here at Classic Violins, and today we're going to take a look at a few different kinds of shoulder rests. Uh, many players like to use a shoulder rest when playing their instrument to help them support the instrument off of their shoulder, to maintain good posture, and also to make it easier to have a little bit of left hand freedom. Um, there are many different kinds of shoulder rests, and it's not necessarily a one-size-fit-all. Depending upon your anatomy and how you are built, I'm a big guy, I have very broad, wide shoulders. Um, what works for me and what I like may be very different for you, depending upon how you're built, um, the length of your neck, um, how you're shaped. So there are lots of different shoulder rest options that you may need to play around with as you are getting comfortable with your instrument. One of the options that a lot of people start out with when they're first learning the instrument is a simple shoulder sponge. Um, this is literally just kind of a cleaning sponge material. It's very soft and flexible and these will hold on to your instrument using just a rubber band. Um, to install one of these, it's simply a matter of placing it on the back of your instrument. Um, based on the shape of this, and because it doesn't have any particular attaching feet, you have a lot of different area that you can move it around to play with to get it just right. To attach these usually, it's just a matter of carefully using a rubber band over one of the instrument's corners, bringing it around the back, and clipping it over your end pin, or end button, excuse me, on the violin here. Um, once it's in position, again, like I said, you have a lot of space that you can move this around and play with it, um, but it will always install, most of the shoulder rest will always install kind of somewhere underneath the chin rest, and this is also good terminology time. This is the chin rest, the part that your chin literally touches, and the shoulder rest is the part on the back that your shoulder will come in contact with. Um, and putting it up on your shoulder like this, you see it kind of fills in the excess space in the back here and helps support the instrument in a comfortable position. Um, these don't fit me perfectly super well, but you can see I'm now able to support the instrument fairly comfortably without having to use my left hand to lift it up. This provides you a lot of extra freedom as a player to be able to shift for vibrato um, and can ultimately make it much more comfortable and have less neck strain over time. Um, the next step up from these shoulder rests, from the sponges, um, there are a couple of popular brands. One is called Everest and one is called Kuhn. We'll start by taking a look at the Everest. This is an Everest shoulder rest. Um, this starts to take on the classical shoulder rest shape that most people are familiar with. Uh, most shoulder rests are some kind of bar shape, usually with some kind of curve contour in it. And they have a couple of feet, these rubber feet, that will attach and hold it onto the instrument itself. Um, shoulder rests are also generally adjustable. These feet can usually be moved in or out in different ways in order to fit your instrument or to adjust it for the instrument. But Everests, like many shoulder rests, attach simply by clipping one of the feet onto the bottom uh, bout of your instrument across the edge and then just sliding up the other foot on the other side to hold it in place. When you've adjusted one of these correctly for your instrument, it should hold on to the instrument fairly, fairly well. It shouldn't just slip off the back. Um, again, these do the same thing as the sponge, but offer a little more support since they don't squish down or compact. Um, some people find these a lot nicer as they give a little more rigid level. You can also, with these types of shoulder rests, adjust the feet either higher or lower in order to customize the angle on your instrument to best suit you. One of the most popular and perhaps ubiquitous shoulder rests is the Kuhn, K-U-N. Um, these are very similar in shape to the Everest in that they also have a curved bar for a body. Um, they also have these nice adjusters on each side that make it easier to, for you to slide these legs in and out to specifically fit your instrument. You can also then justify it using these to one side or the other based on how you want to set it up. And they also have these nice long screw legs that really give you an opportunity to pivot the, in the shoulder rest on the back of your instrument to best fit your body type. Um, these fit onto the instrument much in the same way as the Everest do. Clip on one side, slide the other one up. Again, there's no necessarily right or wrong way to put one of these on like that. I like to use this method, clipping on one end and then sliding the other up, as it's a little more gentle on the instrument and you have less chance of scratching the varnish or generally hurting the instrument. And the same for taking it off, just lifting the one side and sliding it sliding it off. Um, but the Kuhn shoulder rest you can see is attached on there. Based on how you want to adjust it on your instrument, you can slide one side up or down a little bit more to play with that angle. The other nice thing about the Kuhn shoulder rest, the way that they are put together, is that there is some give side to side here. Whoops. So you can actually pivot the whole thing on this axis as well to make it even more comfortable for yourself. 
Uh, personally, I really like coon shoulder rests. I've used them for a long time. I learned, started using them since I was a young student, and um, they're a really good go-to. I find they're very comfortable, and many players like these as if you're looking at your first shoulder rest, or forever, essentially, these are a really good choice, and they're not terribly expensive. Uh, the Kuhn family of shoulder rests, however, there are lots of different options that Kuhn makes. That's the standard Kuhn collapsible shoulder rest. They also make a model called the Solo, which looks a little bit different here. You can see it as kind of a brown body shape and a slightly different profile. Um, some people like this one as well. It attaches in the same way. They like it because it has a little more width here, and depending upon your shoulders and how you are put together, that can make it a little more comfortable to support the instrument up off your shoulder. Also in the Kuhn family, they have a, if you are looking for something um, a little more elegant perhaps, or as a gift for a serious player who already likes Kuhn shoulder rests, they make a variety called the Kuhn Bravo, which is made out of maple, a laminated maple, um, and is very beautifully finished with nice brass hardware. It fits on the instrument and feels pretty much exactly like the standard Kuhn's. So if you are just looking for a nice upgrade or something that's maybe a little more classy for your, your nice instrument, this is a good option to go with. Um, and finally, Kuhn produced um, a few years ago, taking advantage of um, lightweight and the space age material carbon fiber, they began producing a carbon fiber shoulder rest, which is very, very light. There's very little weight to this. Um, again, this attaches just the same as the others. The feet style are a little bit different for this, but it also has a nice wide base here. Um, there is some theory and some thought that being able to reduce the overall weight, the extra things that are being clipped onto the instrument help it vibrate a little better so it might increase your sound a little bit. Uh, your results may vary, but again, it is one option. These are also, I personally find this shape for, for my anatomy very comfortable um, and might be a worthwhile upgrade for you as well. And then there are a few other shoulder rests, a few other outliers we'll take a look at as well here. Um, one is an older model that's been around for a long time. This is called a Wolf shoulder rest. This particular model is the Forte Secundo. Um, similar to the Kuhn bars um, and the Everest bars, except that this has a metal base, kind of a metal spine here, and a large piece of foam that makes up the body of the shoulder rest. You can physically bend these a little bit to change the contour of them, which some players like. And this leg is on a um, long bar with a screw to set, so you can change the overall shape of it and where it will support. Um, I'll put this one on the instrument. Again, it installs pretty much the same way as the others. Here you can see it on the back here. Um, based on how you want to pivot this, you can get some, oops, just pulling it off the instrument here. Based on how you want to pivot it and adjust it, you may be able to get um, a different level of support out of this based on what you would like. You see that the pad is slightly more justified underneath the chin rest there, which again, depending upon how you are built and the shape of your body and your shoulders, some players might find this a little more comfortable. Um, another variety that is very popular, especially amongst violists we found, is called Bon Musica. Uh, bon Musica also has a metal frame. Um, and you can see it has um, kind of a longer swoop to it. This metal frame is fairly flexible, so you are able to actually bend these ends either down or up to kind of fit your individual shoulder and shape a little bit more. Um, some players really like this, especially if you have um, issues with the instrument maybe sliding down your collarbone. This can provide a way for the instrument to kind of grip onto you a little bit better. I'll just put this one on here. Um, Again, very adjustable. There's pivots here. These legs can move up and down. And if I put it on my body here, I can turn to the side. You see this arm kind of comes around the back of my shoulder. Um, and for some players, that's very helpful and very comfortable. And one more option I'll show you here is the Artino Shoulder Rest by Viva La Musica. Um, this is also a wooden body shoulder rest. Um, and it has a nice, um, again, wooden curved body with a nice thick piece of foam underneath, which is very comfortable. Um, the wood has a little bit of give to it, but is fairly rigid, um, which can also be very nice. Some of the other plastic shoulder rests flex a lot. So depending upon, again, how you are shaped and what you like, something that's a little more rigid out of wood or like the carbon fiber Kuhn or the wooden Kuhn Bravo might be another nice alternative for you. Um, some people also really like these because, again, they are wooden and adding a wooden shoulder rest versus a plastic 
elastic shoulder rest to your instrument um, can be quite nice to do. They have a similar shape to the Kuhn and to the Everest with a little bit more of kind of a swoop S to it, so they will go further up your shoulder, again, depending upon how you like to approach the instrument and what's comfortable for you, this might be a good option. With a little bit of research, you'll find that there are lots of other different brands and styles of shoulder rests out there. These are only a few that we've gone through today. Uh, we keep all of these in stock pretty regularly um, because that we have found that players and musicians that we service tend to like these um, more than some of the other obscure brands. Depending upon what you are interested in, however, we can generally order in any type for you um, and would be happy to discuss with you your particular playing mechanics and how you set up and what kind of shoulder rest might be a good choice for you. This is also an excellent conversation to have with your music teacher if you're having issues with instrument comfort, especially maybe even pain on your shoulder or in your neck or in your chin. The other, the other part of this equation is also the chin rest, of course, which is another discussion we'll have some time later. If you have any questions or would like to order a shoulder rest, uh, please let us know. You can contact us through our website, classicviolins.com, or feel free to stop into our locations in Mundelein or Kenosha. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have a great day.